Hey, it's Geeky here, and today I am taking a look at the second of the Predacon, I'll say brothers, or team, and this time it is Zappo. As you can see, he is a red frog, or, you yeah, know, mostly frog, uh, with some chrome orange, some chrome blue, black, and some purple detailing. It's quite a nice little frog, mate. He did come with a weapon, which would fit in his mouth and be like a lance, but unfortunately I lost that years ago. So I can't really show it off. But it would just plug into there in the mouth. Yeah, other, otherwise it's a rather nifty little robot. Or frog. He's got this on the back. You lift it up. When you can unpeg it. Which I would imagine is some sort of cannon or head scratcher or something other one. Something other. It's been a while since I've seen R.I.D. so I don't really know what it's for. Yeah, he's enough for have a nice little frog mode. Um, articulation of frog mode, he's, he's pretty much got you access to all of his robot mode limbs. The front ones are the legs, rear ones are the arms. I think. Maybe the opposite way around. I haven't transformed him in a while. Yeah, but he's a rather nifty little frog. Okay, to transform him. Put, yeah, front legs. Fold down. Basically, pretty much do that. Rip him in half. Fold this paddle out first. It just goes up like so. Fold that up to reveal the head. Just get that out of the way. Just get that out of there. Fold it down. This part swings across, and the head just sits in there. Shoulder pad is made from the top of the frog's head, and this other one becomes a shoulder pad as well. Fold up the butt flap, tabs in at the, which should tab in at the back there, but there's no, well, it should just tab in, but it doesn't. Then you just reorientate all the limbs. He's just sitting done. You just basically turn all the legs around. Fold these ones down, fold these ones down, and there you have them. You have Slapper in robot mode. No new colours are exposed. Uh, he does have a weird setup. He's got extremely long arms. He doesn't actually have any viable hands. He does have holes in his hand to hold the weapon, but without it, all he can do is just Fold his arm across and just go, yes master, yes master. That's all he can do. Head is on a ball joint and you can look down. He's got a frog eye painted on his head. It's rather a nice little head sculpt. He's got nice menacing teeth on it. Uh, you can't look left or right unless you turn it like that. Which is a little bit creepy. Arms, ball joint, ball joint, hinge joint. So it's got a nice range of movement on it. Do a bit of face palm for this review. Uh, legs, ball joint at the hips, ball joint at the knees, lots of movement. And a ball joint at the foot, lots of movement. Yeah, he's a rather, rather nice looking figure. I know he was uh, part of the Beast Wars series, they all were. If you can find him in that colour, then that would be gr that's you know great. I, mean, I imagine he's a bit hard to come by now. But uh, as part of the set, he's rather worth it. He's quite fun. He re basically reminds you of Eagle from Frankenstein. Basically, in robot mode, that's, I think that may be what they're going for. I don't know. But in the show, he was a, he was I think he was a bit of a buffoon. He's all well and fun and all that. Okay, I have been Geeky Delicious, and if you liked what you've seen, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. We've also, got Autobot City UK Facebook group. Link is down there somewhere. And I'm also on Twitter. The link is down there as well. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much.